Hey there, good morning. I got up early today because I got a challenging plan. I'm going to ride to the famous Weltenburg Abbey at the Danube River, which is about 90 kilometers from my home in Ismaning near Munich. So I started out today at about six o'clock when it was still completely dark outside and now we have about 10 to 7. Uh, made about 20 kilometers so far along the Isar River and yeah I'm on my way with my bicycle which is not a fancy electric bike or something like that not even a racing bike it's just a plain old trekking bike which I also use for my way to work every day okay so I'm wondering how it's gonna be 90 kilometers and of course I will also go back today so it will be a total of 180 kilometers by bike and that's best case so it's only under the assumption that I will not lose my way okay so let's see if it will work out it's definitely gonna be some moments where I will hate it but hey that's life first town on the way this is the town of Freising which also have a famous abbey which you can see on the hill over there so I am entering the Hallertau which is Germany's largest hop growing region you know hop which is used as a kind of spice for beer is grown on these huge frames here which are I think up to eight meters high and it's a little bit like wine but it's much larger and they they kind of kind of cut down the plants every year and and grow them again another thing I want to tell you uh, the place where I'm going to, or at least where I'm planning to go, uh, Weltenburg, is not only a famous monastery, it's also one of the oldest breweries which is still running. Uh, the, the monks have started growing beer there, or, or brewing beer, about 1000 years ago, and they still do it. So I certainly gonna have a beer. Of course, right now the beer garden is closed, but as far as I know, the shop will be open. So I can, I will try to buy a bottle of beer and sit down somewhere and drink it. Okay, see you later. Let's have a closer look at one of those hop fields. So I told you that it's a little bit like wine growing and yeah, you can see these, these little sticks here and this is where the plant will start to grow in April. So it will start out in, in a few weeks and it will grow up there. And the harvest is normally in, in August and it's called Hopfenzupfen, like uh, hop picking or something like that. So it's quite an interesting kind of agriculture.
got another like 25 kilometers to go and still feeling fine i can feel my knees a little bit so it's not really pain or something like that but that's okay i can say that from a cycling perspective uh, the trip is actually quite okay so most of it is consists of uh, this type of bike lane next to the main road of course you you always have the noise of cars and trucks going by but still better than having to ride on the road itself so it's quite okay and actually my goal is to 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 make kilometers and so there are nicer roads for sure but i would probably not be able to make it in a day on these nicer roads What you can see here is another interesting kind of agriculture. This is asparagus, which is, yeah, the season, season is coming right now, but we are still in the hop area as well. But we're getting closer to the Danube River and the soil is getting more sandy which is quite good for asparagus. I got a little lost on my way to this town, Abensberg, which is the last town before Weissenburg. And actually, I should know this town very well because my grandfather from my father's side used to live here a little bit outside when I was a little kid so I should know this town but I have to say that I, that I don't remember anything it's quite nice though Look at that. So this is a part of Abensberg, which I have never seen before. Because last time I was here was about 20 years ago. And okay, so this is the brewery which was already there at that time. And this tower looks like kind of yeah, looks like designed by Hundertwasser. I don't know if it really is. So, let's have a look. If I can find it out. Well, not sure. I have to look it up later. So, there's a beer garden as well, which is, of course, closed. And... Okay. Let's see if we can find out something. So... Okay, so it... It has to do something with Hundertwasser, as you can read here, but... I'm still not sure if it really has been designed by by himself but it's it's definitely his style okay let's continue look at that there's a little lavender field kind of reminds me of Hungary Lake Balaton region where 
we also grow a lot of lavender. Well, after all, we are close to the Danube River. So, looks like I made it. Here's the Danube River, the rocks from the Belsenburg Narrow. I think that soon we're going to see the Abbey as well. Starts. didn't find the shop so far. So let's first look at the Weltenburg Narrow, which is which is one of the, I don't know, three or four famous narrows of the Danube River, where the riverbed is enclosed by rocks. And of course the, the current is much stronger than usually. Look at these rocks. Okay, here you can see how it continues and normally you can take boat trips from here to the town of uh, Kedheim. And you can also hike on the other on, on the other side of the river, uh, on top of these rocks, which I did a few years ago. So. I would say, let's have a look, let's try to find the shop and then maybe I will sit down on one of these benches and have a beer from the bottle, which is of course not really stylish, but as you can imagine in 
2021, late March. The beer gardens are of course closed, like all other types of restaurants. I cannot see what behind, what's behind this wall, but maybe I can put up my camera so you can see it. I have to say that with the beer garden closed and everything closed, the landscape is much more impressive than the abbey itself. I don't think you can see it, but there are some rock climbers over there. Okay, so I'm now going back, gonna take it slowly because I still got a lot of time left, eight hours at least till the sun will set. And I don't think I'm gonna film very much on my way back. I hope I will not suffer too much because, uh, yeah, but maybe that's what you want to see. <laughs> want to watch me suffer but <clears throat> well I will I will be back around yeah at the end of my ride and we'll tell you just just how it was okay see you then I'm on the final 10 kilometers <clears throat> And, yeah, I have to say, it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I mean, the way back was tougher uh, than the way to Weltenburg, um, for a different reason. Of course, I, I was more tired, uh, but also the wind situation was not so good when Ismaning lies about uh, 200 meters higher above sea level than, than Weltenburg. But that's it. So I didn't really have to suffer, but I, I have to admit that the final, let's say, 50 kilometers were not really fun but was it worth it sure at least I could generate some video footage which might be a little bit interesting and which I can upload on YouTube then of course I did some exercise I <laughs> proved to myself that I can still uh, make it I think it's uh, the last time I, I made a bike tour of this length was about four or five years ago. And of course Weltenburg is a, is a really nice place, a special place, which was quite motivating 
and finally this is like an expression of personal freedom of which uh, I think there was not too much during the past 12 months or so. So actually this was the longest travel I made since, I don't know, something like six months or longer, which is, if you consider my normal habits, it's quite unusual, so to say. Okay, so it was definitely worth it and I would say that most people are able to do this. Okay, so see you next time and bye-bye.